Okay, so here's the foam. Several different pieces. And uh, I'll go ahead and get the hand set out. This is the base. Stand. This here is kind of standard. A lot of people see these on a pretty, pretty regular basis, but it's just to you plug this in and it turn it makes the adapter for the American style of adapter. So that's all that is. Alright. Now I'm gonna set that aside for the moment. You have the phone here. Here's your stand. You'll notice these match with these, these here match with these, so just rocks into place. Solid. Okay, now we'll get the handset cord out. The long end, this here, goes to the phone. The short end goes to the handset. So short end to the handset, long end to the phone. And the reason for that is because there's this little channel that this cord fits in. So we'll first We'll plug it in down here to this this piece here. This is what shows a little handset there. It says HAC, whatever that means. But this plugs in here. And then you take the cord and you push it down inside that little groove. It can be a little difficult, but you do that and then it gets it nice and tucked out of the way. So it comes out the side and you're cord is over here so that's all this cord is your network cord for the uh, to connect your phone to the network so now this can connect uh, a couple different ways but we'll show you where it connects here so first of all you want to connect this to the SW you'll see there's two labels here this one is SW this one says PC if you only have one cable coming from your router and the only one place to connect let's say your router is across the house or something you've only got one wire that you can connect with then you plug this in or plug that wire into the SW port and then this PC one would go to the docking station. So if you have the option of plugging your phone directly into your router, it's actually a little better. So it's a recommended way to do it. So now I've got it plugged into the SW, which I think stands for switch, but you plug it into SW and then the other end I'm going to plug into the router. All right, first of all, this might be what your router looks like. If we send you one, this is what it will look like. This is the router that we send. And you would just plug it into the second port, third port, fourth port, one of the orange ones. All right, so we plug that in. And now we need to plug in the power cord on the phone, which is over here. So your phone should then, the lights should come on and it will continue to boot up. So, if you have your line that comes from your, your current router, and you want to plug it from your current router to the phone, and then go from the phone to the PC, like we mentioned before, you'll plug that line that comes from your router into the SW port. 
So SW stands for switch. Then the other one we're going to run from here to the PC. Plug that in there. And I'm going to take the other end. I will plug this into here. Now, once we plug the phone in, here's the power cord for the phone. We'll go ahead and plug that in. So from, from the router to the SW, from the phone on a PC to the docking station. Now we have lights. And your phone will take a minute to boot up. And now it's ready to go. The phone is ready, ready to work. We have uh, ready to dial. So that's it. And because the the network is connected through your phone to the laptop, then you would have now have network connectivity on the laptop. You'll see there'll be lights lit up down here on the on the docking station. There's some lights. If you don't see the lights, something's wrong. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>